Hey Church, great to see you today and um, welcome to today's devotion. My name's Darren, one of the pastors here at Audacious Church and it's great that you've joined uh, this devotion where, wherever you are and whatever time of the day it is. This week we're going to look at the power of the Holy Spirit on the back of our weekend of Nights of Fire. Just wanted to spend a week looking at the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives um, and his work in and through our lives. Each day we're going to build on the last as we look at who, uh, as we look at the who and the why and the what of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2, 1 to 4 says, Then the day of Pentecost came. They were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like a blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. When we are filled and full of the Holy Spirit, being full of the Holy Spirit is a game changer in your life. And right at the very beginning of this week, I want you to think about creating time to receive or rekindle in your life the person and power of the Holy Spirit. Tomorrow, we'll look at who he is. But today, I want to encourage you to know and understand that there is a power in your life that you need. Most people have a boiler in their house, a big white contraption that heats your home. A boiler has a pilot light. And when the boiler is activated, as for the pilot light ignites the gas that flows through the system and the boiler comes to life, providing power and heat for your home. Salvation is our pilot light. And when we ask for the Holy Spirit, because that's all you have to do, the pilot light ignites and the power of the Holy Spirit fills our lives. We are, as some would say, set on fire. Ephesians 1, 13 to 14 says, when you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit, guaranteeing our inheritance. Baptism in the spirit is the ignition of power in our lives, in your life. We have the authority through salvation and power through baptism. Acts 1 verse 8, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all of Judea and Samaria and to the ends of of the earth. This is a game changer. You can live full of power, an audacious life that makes people sit up and take note and points people to Jesus. We want to point people to Jesus. We want to see the power of the Holy Spirit alive and at work in our lives and through our lives from our lives. Let me finish by saying that we need the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is for everyone. It's God's power to live and flourish in life and to have a life that impacts and imparts to others. All you need to do is ask and you will receive. Love you, church. Have a great day. Remember, just make time to ask for the Holy Spirit. A simple prayer. Holy Spirit, come and you will be baptised. Love you, church. Have a great rest of the day and look forward to seeing people on fire full of power.